this in right. What up, guys? Bottle here back again with another video. But it's not a Beyblade video. It's a video, guys, that you guys didn't think I was ever gonna make. This. I used to. This used to be one of my favorite animes of all time. This anime is called Future Card Buddy Fight. All right. My brother got me into this anime, and it's really good, alright? The first five seasons, alright? Buddy Fight first season, Buddy Fight 100, Buddy Fight Triple D, Buddy Fight X, Buddy Fight All-Star, you know, X All-Star Fight, alright? So, the thing is, I used to, the, the metagame was awesome, alright? It was balanced, alright? But then, they came out of nowhere... With eights, all right. They have Yuga. You can be caught up, gal's son. I didn't have a problem with that. I not have a problem with his son. I already knew they're gonna like bring his son because that's what they always do to animes. They bring use their son as the main character now. So I I didn't mind that. All right. But then like it got dug deeper in the series, and I stopped watching because it was just getting boring because. This, like, it was just born because it wasn't Gao. Because, like, you know, Gao's, like, the main character. He's a cool character. He's undefeated. He will win his buddy fights. But then, we get the the new world flag, whatever you want to call it. We get the new world called Lost World, all right? Lost World destroy buddy fight entirely, all right? This, like, it's just so sad. Stupid how, like, I understand. I like Lost World, right? I like Lost, Lost World. It's a really nice uh, world. But the thing is, like, once you heard that they're at, they don't have side limits, like, these monsters are, like, really powerful. They have, like, 70 life. Not 70 life. I meant 70 power, 30 power. Like, once you get to that, like, they, like once they say these, these, uh, Monster don't have any uh, size limit. I was like, that's like, I mean, it's kind of cool, but it doesn't make any sense. But then I just watched the latest episode of Future Car Buddy Fight. That episode destroyed the metagame entirely, alright? I know, like, they're, they're made for two different companies, and not two, two, two different uh, people who created the anime. When they bought Vanguard in, I mean, like, they kind of, like, messed it up when they brought Stride and all that junk. But, like, well, when they got, like, to the 8, not 8, uh, what's it called? When they brought in the V-Series, they, like, reimagined. They changed up the rules. They brought some cards in. And they just made it balanced. Alright? But then they ha we have Ace. Ace, bro. Who's your card, Buddy Fight? Ace. The series isn't that good, alright? I'm only watching it so after we can just see Gal again because that series is just boring. The only people ever liking it is Yuga and Gargantua a Dragon, alright? Masato, he's he's annoying. Subaru, he's okay. And then the other character, they're just annoying. And the thing is that Buddy Fight is like it's not it's not balanced anymore. Like, they mess it up, like, the new car. I'm not, I'm gonna have to spoil it for you. You haven't seen the episode yet. I don't think anybody on the channel even watched Buddy Fight, so I'm just gonna spoil it for you. How this, like, Suru got this man to zero life, right? And so he thought it was over. Like, yeah, man, I'm gonna phase Gal. I'm not, not Gal. I'm gonna phase Yuga next. I'm gonna phase Yuga next. So then, next you know, Rob was like, <laughs> along if I have. Vanity destroyed dragon on the field. I can't lose this buddy fight. And then once I saw that, I was like, Are you kidding me? Do like I said that card just destroyed the metagame entirely. The the card game isn't balanced anymore when you start using Lost World. Alright? Well why have compare this to uh where we had Spring and Requiem. How Spring and Requiem was OP, he won all his battles and stuff. And then they got like revived Phoenix, how he won on his battles. The game is getting unbalanced. Like Buddy Fight, I used to love Buddy Fight. Uh, you gotta have to see my bed, but look. You see, 
That's my wall. You see all those cards? That's all my buddy fight cards. I have more. There's some over there. But those cards, not the van not the Vanguard box. But these car these cards are buddy fight cards. Alright. And then once like Lost World, they it's not balanced anymore. Like like that card, like it's gonna be banned in tournament because Oh, long up. The one thing is, you put your whole deck, the whole deck, into his soul. That is just dumb. Because the deck, you only use about five cards, so you're gonna have 25 cards in your soul. That is just like unbelievable. The game isn't balanced anymore, alright? The game wasn't balanced since when they bought Overturn. With like they brought the overturn mechanic in, and it is still kind of balanced. But once like once you got when is they brought that in, cause it wasn't balanced. It was like it was like a cheetah tire. It was sometimes balanced, sometimes not. Cause like that's when every every character was getting it. So that made it, that would have made it balanced. But then th there's only one card, one card in a whole buddy fight is the strongest card of all a buddy fight. I don't even know his name, but it's like Violent Vanity Dragon or I forgot. Something DD Dragon, Vanity Hus Vanity DD Dragon, I forgot his name. Alright. Just look it up with that. Let's look the episode up and just like you can just do it there, alright? And then after that, like he it, the, 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 he has his other skill where his other ability where um you can like like go through your soul and pick a card out of your other the soul. So all you had to do was someone play impact, he could just use D not D suction. Uh vanity cells and just stop it right there. Like the game is like destroyed. The game is done, bro. And then that's you know they're gonna make another lock card where I can see your hand. Okay, so you have like three counters in your hand. Then, when it's his turn, he's going to get Vanity Cells or some other card. And then once they play their impact or their counter, he's going to um, use Vanity Cells or some other card. It's like, I nullified your attack. Lost World. Is it balanced at all? Like, I would use Lost World in tournament if I wanted to. If I wanted to. Darkness Dragon World. It was it, when we first brought in the first series. Like, I wasn't like watching the series where it was like in the first season. I like I watched like the first episode and a couple episodes after that, and I stopped watching it. Me and my brother just stopped watching it. But then we started getting back into it when it had Triple D came out. So that's why I started watching it again. That's where I like got back in anime and I watched the first, second, third season. I really recommend the uh, first season, but the second season will always be. The best buddy fight series. My brother agreed. I was on the uh, buddy fight Mino. Everybody agreed on there. So yeah, like it's like it's um buddy fight hundred, then buddy fight, then X, then tr no wait, it's hundred, then the first season, then triple D, then X, then all for all star fight, but that doesn't really count. So just put that word with the other one. So yeah, I mean like the best car, the best buddy fight had to be Tsuku versus Gal the first season, and then, and then I watched. That's what I thought. That's what I thought first. I all thought. Hold on, I gotta go. That's what I see. I forgot what I was saying. That's my blanket. I don't know what that was. Okay. I don't know. I forgot what I was saying. Hold on. My bad. All right. I'm sorry. That was disgusting. All right. I forgot what I was saying before. But. Oh, yeah. But, hold on. I gotta tilt it. Bam, boy. Look, bro. I got a new light. Another light I put on my other tank. And then. It's not the bait well anymore. Well, that was the bait well. And, uh, this is my beta, my beta fish tank. Mm. 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That wasn't supposed to happen. This is my beta fish tank. 10 gallon tank. That's what I recommend the most. It's like a 13 gallon to 10 gallon tank because like buddy, buddy, buddy. But beta fish, they like to move a lot. If I could tell you what I've seen so far. They like to move a lot. Like they like clean water. But like the tank is not kind of like clean. I gotta do like more maintenance on it. But here, the water is just so clear. But once you put your hand in there and mess up all the sand up, like stuff will come up. Like I'm not even playing with you right now. So yeah, that those are the plant that was in here. They was in the beta fish tank. But then like I took all of them out and I put them in here. And they're doing fine. I mean well I can tell you, like the light. It's pretty good. It's a really powerful light. Like, I really like the light. So, hopefully, well, like, I have two light coming on. It goes from, like, nighttime to, like, late daylight or whatever like that. So, whatever. Alright. I don't know why I'm up here so far. Alright, hold on. My bad. Alright. So, Buddy fight just got messed up. Like, I don't understand. When you make, like, a toy line where you can battle with other people, you, you're probably like, well, they made the company, so it didn't have to be like that. For first of all, when people like us, the fans, they can make tournaments. <laughs> Sorry. They can make, they can make tournaments. First of all, if I've had a buddy fight tournament, I will ban that card, all right? I will ban uh, Vanity House Destroyer the Dragon. I will ban that card, alright? You can't use that card in my tournament. Cause like, that card is just too powerful. Unless, unless, somehow, some way, you can have all these gauge up cards and put like, 34 gauges in your whole deck, or not, on your gauge, and use Ball Searcher over us, right? As long as you did this, as long as you, um, my bad. As long as you did uh pay one gauge, you can use you keep using ball stars over us. That's the only, that's what I think. That's the only card I think that can come over my head you can defeat it. Unless you use um I don't think this will probably work. But the sword, the the dragon sword where you can like destroy a dragon instantly, that card may work. So those are two cards. I'm not exactly sure about the other card, the uh, sword one. I'm not exactly sure. But it says you can't be destroyed by monster abilities, so whatever. So that card's undefeated, bro. Like, Ace is just messed it up. It did the same thing with Shogun Steel, but we still bought it because we. The only thing I liked about Shogun Steel was the Beyblade. That was all it. Ace. Hold on. I, I need. At least. What up, guys? So these is the trial deck for. The first trial deck for a uh, buddy fight ace. Like these are it right here. See, these are the ace cards. Uh, Gargantua Dragon. Sorry, hold on. And here's the uh, the card you get in here. Awakened Deity, Gargantua Dragon. You guys can see here. So yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, like, I like the eighth cards. Like, I like Gargantua Dragon. I like Draw Deity. That's, that's the deck I just showed you. I like the, uh, Astro Dragon. Why my mouth is so spitty, bruh? I don't understand why. What else? Um, that's probably it, to be honest with you and Ace. Because, like, that whole card is just, like, messed up. The thing about Ace is that it's boring, it's not compatible, and you can't use a card in a tournament because that person that lost where it will win. But, 
how strong the card is, I don't think the only way you can buy it if you're 20 years old with a YouTube, you do, a YouTube channel and you have like a money and you can buy that a car as a single because of, there's no way in heck where you can get that card in a booster box. That's how strong that card is. The only way you can actually use it is when his second form is discarded, like it's destroyed, and the first, his first form, Vanny Huff's Destroyer, that card is destroyed. So that's the only way you can use it, get those two cards destroyed. Which is going to be hard if you're using a first gen deck, second gen deck, unless the only way you can possibly win if you have an overturn mechanic, alright? The only way you can possibly win... Death Cow Wackery, that's something you can beat him like that, but and then then just says you can't lose the buddy fight, so I don't see how Death Cow Wackery will actually work against that. But I think there, I don't, I can't come up with a card other than Ball Sergeant Overrush. That's literally the only card I can think of on the top of my head that I think don't 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 quote me on this. This is the only thing card I I can come up with on the top of my head is Ball Sergeant Overrush. But the only way you can possibly win if you have like a you can put 25 gauge in your uh in your gauge gauge thing. That's the only way you can work. If you only can beat that card. Because like if he just that's the only way he can win. But yeah, like that card destroyed the whole meta game. But then the next episode is something stupid. Then I think that's where we get uh Yuga versus Rama. Those are the characters in the tournament. Those characters are gonna battle in the final tournament. If you come up with me, I understand, but somehow you can play with a spell card and be like, Guess what? I can use all of my gargle forms and I can just attack you. That will probably happen. I'm telling you right now that they're gonna make a card like that. That's how freaking dumb buddy fight is. I don't understand. But like, this series destroyed the whole meta game, alright? If you don't believe me, if you like a big buddy fight YouTuber, you saying that no, they didn't destroy the money game, didn't do that, blah blah blah. I don't know what you're talking about, all right? Because I don't know about you, I don't know anybody else, but I'm an OG buddy fight. I was the first, like I was the first, one of the first people who watched since the beginning, so the first episode, like I watched the first episode when it came out. On that day, January, I believe. Or one of those months. I was the first. Like, I was like, my brother bought the other deck. My first deck was the, um, Gigantic Forest, I think. I don't know, but the one with a jackknife. That's the first deck I ever got. And then I got, um, uh, Darkness Dragon World and Cosmo World and Star Dragon World. So, yeah. But then I was trying to get back into Vanguard and get all those Vanguard cards. So, yeah. If you ask me, man, I'm going to tell you what I said that said earlier, that Buddy Fight is just, the only way they can come back from this is they make a reboot series, bro. A reboot series, alright? That's the only way they can come back with this, and they can't cross-contaminate English cards with the first, with the new series cards, with the old series cards. And that this reboot series can only you only use reboot series cards, all right. Bring back Gal, utilize the character they have. Like stop making new character after new series. I mean that is good. Like we do like new characters and stuff, but but then when they get the new character, they don't use the other character they used to have. Like the second, the third season, they barely use Tasuya. They barely used the uh, the ninja dude with Suki Kage. I forgot his I forgot his name. Zanya, Zanya Kishiragi. So yeah, I mean the first season will always be the best buddy fight. The first, I meant the second. My bad. The second will be the best one. And I will play the theme song for you, but I'm probably gonna get copyrighted again because these don't like me. They were like, I see this black boy. I took all his money from him, but then I got like, if you wanna see my house, bro? Like my house is like bigger than your house, bro. Yeah. Other than that, this is my take on the last episode. The buddy fight metagame is destroyed at this point. 
And the only way I can tell you what I said before is that they need to make a new reboot series, a buddy fight. That's it. That's the only way they can come back is they reboot the whole series back again. And then just make the game balance again. That's only it. So, you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Sorry. Let's try to get 30 likes. Alright? I know the Voucher Gang can do it. I know the Voucher Gang can get me 30 likes on this video. So, smash the like button now. Right now, I'm gonna wait. Right now. Did you do it? Did you hit this like button? Or did you do it? Bro, I'm not freaking playing with you right now, bro. Did you like the did you like the button, bro? Did you hit the like button? Cause if you didn't, bro, get off my channel, bro, cause I ain't gonna freaking play with that, bro. I just mess with you. <laughs> Alright. So it's just make sure, let's get 30 likes on this video right now. Let's get 30 likes on this video. And after that, you're going to scroll down a little bit. And then you're going to see this little button. You see a little button that says S-U-B-S-C-R-I-B-E. All right, you see, subscribe. If the button is either red or is gray, I think. I believe it's gray. If it's gray... You're good. All you gotta do is just like the video. But if it's not gray, you better freaking hit that like. You better hit that subscribe button, bro. I ain't freaking playing with you right now, bro. I ain't freaking playing with you. <laughs> Thank you.